Fendi Talking on me, so my car's a tenny Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it Bobbing in a dash and the stick is with it She be my, my jolly She be my, my jolly She be my, my Hey guys, it's Tommy. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be looking pretty crusty in this vlog because as you guys can tell by the title, this is my birthday prep vlog. I normally never do these, but I was like, let me just try, at least try once and film a prep vlog before a trip and see how it goes. I'm turning 24 on May 12th, so I'll be traveling to Atlanta tomorrow morning, May 11th, because I have to get my lashes done there and then I need it just to be there the day before. My actual birthday trip to Cabo is going to be the 18th through the 24th. So I'm going to be giving you guys like three vlogs like centered around my birthday if that makes sense. So we have the birthday prep vlog and then my actual birthday vlog day of May 12th because I'm going to be in Atlanta, Georgia for that. And then you'll be seeing the birthday trip vlog to Cabo. But I am like this right now because I have to go to the gym today. So I'm going to go get my toes done first and I'm going to go to the gym. Yeah and the gym is definitely a part of my birthday prep because you I'm freaking skinny again after all that I'm supposed to film two videos before I leave this is exactly why I did not want to work during my birthday month but here I am but we're gonna go ahead and get the day started I'm gonna try and vlog as much as possible but okay I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get right on into this birthday prep So we made it to the gym. So today I'm doing a leg workout and I'm just gonna put the workout on the screen or just list it beside what I'm doing. I'm not gonna be able to film my entire workout just because I don't know how I'm gonna capture all the angles because my tripod is really tiny. By the way, before we start, my workout set is from Pretty Little Thing. I'll link it down below for you guys. Can And there's music going on right now so I can't talk a lot because of copyright. But I will see you guys out on the workout floor. back from the gym and I'm out of the shower I literally look like a peanut but it's fine before I travel I do shave my legs but I use a hair remover cream this one is by beat and it's the sensitive formula it's kind of like a 7 out of 10 for me sometimes 8 it just depends on 
if I put the cream on right. And then also pre-shower, I did a honey mask on my face. I like to do a honey mask before I get installs just to hydrate like my forehead because the alcohol in the lace, the reaction of both of those combined really dries out my skin. I don't really like to eat or drink honey. I only put it in tea sometimes, but all of this is from doing like skincare with it. You can put it on burns. Basically, my lips and my face are getting really dry because I haven't gotten to do my actual skincare because I was setting up my camera, so let's do that now. I'm gonna use some rose water because it's midday. It's gonna be like a calming toner because tonight I will use my BHA toner. After that, I'm just gonna take my favorite product from Tula, their 24-7 moisturizer, and put that on all over my face. And then I'm just gonna take some black girl sunscreen, put that on my face as well because I am going back outside. I usually put sunscreen on on the days that I'm leaving the house, but I'm probably gonna start using it every day. Because I am getting an install, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of this teeny tea infused oil. So now that I'm all showered and my face is prepped for the rest of the day, it's time to choose my perfume scent of the day. I like to put on perfume after I shower. So today we are going to actually be picking out our fragrance of choice from Scentbird. I have four different fragrances here today that I'm going to try. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands and it's a flexible subscription so you can skip any month without penalties. Scentbird carries top designer brands such as Gucci, Prada, Versace, and these are 100% authentic because they work directly with the brands. You get to choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $16. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try out your fragrance and see if you like it before getting the full-size bottle. So the perfume that you'll be getting is eight times bigger than a sample that you would receive in a store. First one that I'm trying out is Bright Poppy by Palazzo Nova. This is a really, really true daytime scent. I feel like this is really perfect for the summer. It's light, but it still smells like a beautiful perfume. The next one is Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. Oh my God, this is beautiful. This one is a daytime scent as well, but it's a little bit sweeter. I feel like I would be able to wear this at nighttime as well. The other one was kind of like bright in springtime. This one is sweeter and sexier. You can tell that this is gonna be one of my favorite two that I'm gonna be taking on my trip to Mexico. The next one is Rachel Zoe Empowered. This one is another sweet smelling one. It kind of gives me like notes of vanilla. Let me see what's in this one. Yup, I was correct. There's vanilla, coconut, jasmine, floral, and musk. This one is a very sweet, warm scent. I feel like this is daytime as well, but I feel like I would kind of wear this scent more so when I'm going to bed. I am a person that likes to put perfume on when I go to sleep. Definitely going to be going with the Marc Jacobs today. I love this one. I really like that these are like travel size because I can just throw these right in my purse. So you can see how beneficial Scentbird is already. Imagine if I bought the full size bottle and I didn't like it, I would have spent a lot of money. Perfumes are expensive. They can really range from $150 to $500. So with Scentbird, you can get a decent amount of high-end fragrances for just $16. And with my code, it will be only $11 for your first month. You guys can make sure to use my coupon code ONGWI30 for 30% off of Scentbird.com. So thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Now I'm about to go eat and hopefully Hopefully, try and get my hair done. My stylist isn't answering and my appointment is was supposed to be at 2 and it is currently 2.08 and she hasn't gotten back to me so I obviously haven't left. But now I can't set my eyebrow appointment time because I was setting that time so I can make my lace appointment so I don't have to keep going in and coming back out. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna eat. When I talk to you guys next, we're gonna figure out what's going on with the rest of my day.
currently 4 11 a.m let me just tell y'all a little bit of what happened while you're away right now you can probably hear my heater on right now so excuse the noise in the background and i am kind of tipsy but you're gonna know why in a little bit so after i got my nails done i don't even know if i gave you guys a good enough look i went for like a wave design these are very different for me but i feel like these are gonna look like really really cute with my outfits after i got my nails done i got back home at like 7 50 p.m and i ate some food and then i was supposed to do my makeup and put on this wig really quickly and get to filming that didn't really happen i called michael because i was just feeling a little bit down like it was giving almost like i want to say mental breakdown but we was almost there so much went wrong today but i wasn't really able to explain it to you guys because i was kind of moving quickly um so i was just talking to him about that and i got sad and like i told you guys i was supposed to film two videos today so let me just tell you how my day was supposed to go it was supposed to be i get my toes done go to the gym come back home shower do my sponsorship part of the vlog eat something else get, get my eyebrows done get my hair installed not this week right here get my nails done come back home film a fashion over try on haul film a tipsy talk busy 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 day what messed up the middle part of my day was my stylist never texted me back so this is supposed to be my birthday look the beginning of the day so my birthday wig didn't come didn't have that 30 inch unit. i'm like where am i about to get another wig i remembered uni's hair um they sent me like a closure wig which i did not want it was supposed to be a frontal i'm like let me just check the box i checked the box it's a frontal unit i'm like bet i can go with what i originally wanted to do for my birthday which is this kind of look right here so i've been texting her since saturday she's not answering i'm dming her usually she doesn't response so i wasn't really worried and it was mother's day sunday so i was like let me just text her early i woke up at seven i texted her no response i've been texting her dming her i asked one of the other stylists that work in the same salon as her to text her no reply so after the gym it's like one and i'm all showered and everything but it's like i don't know what to do because i'm trying to like wait maybe she's asleep because mother's day was the day before and she's a mom so i'm like let me give her some slack but then it was like 1 45 i'm like my appointment's supposed to be at 2 so i'm wasting all this time trying to like wait to see if she'll reply instead of just like starting on the other way so eventually i get on instagram post this right here i don't have anything to complete my birthday look except for the dress back i'm supposed to imply my birthday unit for me install a wig where when i install my wigs i see lace i don't want to be seeing lace on my birthday but basically i just had to start bleaching my knots and then i went and got my eyebrows threaded the vlog just didn't go exactly how i wanted because of that big misstep in the lace installation because the hair was supposed to be a part of the birthday prep um so i feel like now the birthday prep is giving scars yeah so i had to bleach my own knots and i didn't do a bad job i don't even know if you guys can tell so this is what i'm working with now i just hope it looks okay i mean that's all i have i mean i have this on my head but i've worn this week so many times already two hours to pack right now and i was gonna pack with you guys but i don't really think it makes sense because uh, during the vlog i'm always gonna tell you guys where i get all my outfits from and you've seen them already in hauls kind of but if you're not following me on instagram already that's a good way to stay up to date with my outfits but when i drop the vlog i'm always telling you guys where i get pieces from see you guys when i'm done packing my suitcase my mind is kind of every which way i'm about to probably pack with you guys on live that's why i say follow me on instagram i'm doing a lot of fun stuff i mean it's not really that fun but it's fun i'll see y'all when i'm all done and packed so i finally made it to the airport i am literally about to be at my gate i just got breakfast but i just wanted to close this vlog out and say i got done packing literally when it was time for me to go 6 30 a.m thank you so much to everyone who was on my Instagram live that helped me pack. You guys were literally with me for like two and a half hours and helping me get it together. Like I literally would have left my passport at home if not for the person that reminded me. I was forgetting that I'm going to Mexico after Georgia because I was packing for Georgia and Mexico at the same time. So thank you guys so much. I can't talk too much because there's music going on in the bathroom. But also thank you to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the links down below in the description. Check them out. And this is the end of episode one of my three-part series to my birthday vlogs and i will see you guys in episode two the day of my birthday bye guys